Welcome to Worship Tutorials. Hello. In this video, we're going to compare this guitar to that guitar. This is a PRS SE Silver Sky. This is a PRS Core Silver Sky. All right. And we just uploaded today our SE Silver Sky full demo review. The day we're taping. It's yes. the official release day. Today is January the 11th. Link below if you haven't seen that video yet. Definitely check it out if you're interested in this guitar. But we purposefully left out any kind of comparison in that video. So in this video, there are going to be chapter markers along the bottom. And you can jump to different sections. We're going to talk specs. That is how you YouTube. That's how you YouTube. On our end and on your end. Uh, we're going to talk specs. We're going to talk how different they feel, because they do feel different, but they feel very similar. We're going to talk about all that. We're going Hence to... the video. <laughs> we're going to go playing samples, so you can hear back-to-back -back how they sound through the exact same rig. So let's start with how they're the same. What is similar they about them? Six strings. <laughs> they each have the same number Three of strings. Three pickups. So the overall construction is pretty much the same on both guitars. It is a you know, a solid body Strat style guitar with a bolt-on maple and rosewood neck. Same. Uh, and the reverse headstock, the construction of the neck is similar. The, uh, the you scarf know, joint. The scarf joint, all that kind of stuff. The, the, the angle on the headstock, the reverse thing, the three by three. Um, the control layout is exactly the same. Just like so any Strat. What they do, what these controls do, it's volume, tone, tone. And this tone is linked directly to the bridge pickup. This tone is linked to these two pickups, the neck and the middle. Um, and, uh, you know, you've got the, the tremolo system on the back. First of all, you'll see a, a difference here. There is no trim cap or trim cover. Yeah, they're not even screws. On the it, back. This is how John preferred it. Yeah, and this is how he preferred it on this guitar. Or something. I guess. Uh, but it's the same as far as what's underneath here is the same as what's underneath there. Four springs. Uh, and, and connected to the claw. Um, yeah, so, you know, overall, the way they're similar is they're basically a Strat-style guitar yep. with a similar type of construction. Oh, the, the, the tuners? The buttons are... The buttons are the same? They at least look to be the same. They may the not be. The tuners themselves are not the same. Yep. So now let's talk about what is different from just a pure spec perspective. Uh, well, I would like to say... Okay. It is not a stark difference... Yes. At least when you look at them, especially. This is like the top level. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's not a stark difference. Even when you start getting into the nitty gritty, it's not like night and day. Some may disagree on some points. Okay. But to me, overall, this guitar is like, they're very similar. More so than I think other brands do when they release ah. a, so, an but. In, an import budget version yes. of the same. Higher but thing. I have a graphic that. Okay. Well, the graphic you don't need to see because you're seeing the graphic is just the info with the guitars. Here's what we got. We're gonna talk body wood. Okay. And Brian, um, as we stop, because Brian's more of the science scientific person when it comes to what specs mean. Um, if you if you hear something you would like to elaborate on, please do. I will interject. Um, the core model is made of alder. Okay. And. The SE model is made of poplar. I don't know I don't detect much about either. Yeah. Um, but when it comes to, they both feel like wood. wood. Let's do this. Hand me that thing. Okay. They weigh about the same. Oh, okay. That's all, that's all I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> um, they both feel like wood. Okay. So, I mean, there's that. All right, next shape. They this both is, feel like wood. This is an well, interesting they te thing. technically don't feel like wood because there's a finish on top, but... Oh, well, okay. Gotcha. Uh, next shape. They are both said to be a 635 JM. That's what they call it. That's what they call it. Now, this graphic is in... Uh, it's a Rox, the Roxy Pink guitar. Okay. And on that one, it actually says 635JM-R. So I'm not sure what the R actually says. Maybe says. Rosewood. Maybe. Versus maple. Yeah. yeah. Which is do possible because on the core models, there are all maple necks versus... Yeah, So yeah. that's a good point. Um, Where's the finger Width board? of the fretboard at the nut. This is 1 and 21 30 seconds. Oh, this is 1 and 20. 1 and 20 30 seconds. So I remember seeing that. slight difference. That's a small difference. That could come down to like the finish they use. 
Yeah. This being a gloss finish, this being a matte finish. So yeah, that's science. Fretboard radius, 7.25, 8.5. So this is a flatter radius on the fretboard. Which is a weird thing a to me. A more modern about. feeling flatter radius. That's it a, is. That's a big difference. Currently, I have lots of thoughts. Currently, we're talking objective things. Yes. Uh, this is a bone nut. That is a synthetic bone nut, which... That I don't think I think part of the reason why they look slightly different. Maybe They're I think part of the reason different. though is strats. You know, a traditional strat's yeah. going to have that. So maybe if maybe I that's would, just a thing because yeah, this is supposed to be more of a. Strat I would song. also venture to guess this is the same synthetic bone nut that they use across a lot of the SE guitars. Probably very true. Okay. All right, pickups. Yes. If you are aware of how PRS does, like the import models. And they do the you know the SE versus the core. They are typically mm -hmm. the same pickup, the same name, the same name, but it's an import. So, and Brian could probably elaborate more. But yeah. in in general, they just tack on an S, right, to sig yeah. signify. Yes, S. I don't know what S means. Oh. It just means it's the import version. Typically. Okay, well there we go. These are all six, both all six pickups, three between the two, six thirty five JM pickups. Um, these are the S version. Those are the S version. If you yeah. watch John Mayer's video, mm -hmm. well, PRS's video of John Mayer introducing this, and if you watch any of the other uh, very well done Silver Sky videos, they talk about the fact that all three pickups are the same. They are just put in different positions, mm -hmm. which is not super common. Right. Um, but these are, you know, we have a couple core models and SE models of different guitars. Yeah. And... We feel that across the board, I think between the, we have, so there's this one, we have the mm -hmm. Custom 24, yep. and we have the different guitars, but we have the hollow body too, yeah. which has 58 15s, yeah. and then the Custom 24 is at 85 15s. 85 15s. So we, we do not have a like core hollow body to compare that way, but we have two guitars with yeah. 58 15s, and we feel that as much as we can tell, they aren't like... Um, again, they I'm using the word stark. stark. Yeah. They're not a stark difference. You could hear slight yeah. things, but so yeah. In a nutshell, but that's probably possible with different pickups, anyways. Yeah. In a nutshell, PRS basically has the pickups made overseas, and they design and voice them to sound like the American counterparts. Yes. So these are these pickups are made overseas, but they are designed to sound like those pickups. Yes. And you'll see when we get to the tone section. They sound really close. Yeah. They don't sound exactly the same, but they're close. They're close. Okay. This uh, six-point trim, it says here a PRS steel tremolo. That is a two-point steel there's tremolo. There's a difference. Yep. Yep. So there's that. And uh, these both are vintage-style tuners, but these are locking. That's what this little, if you can't, you can't, uh, probably yeah, can't yeah. really see. Um, but you can, like, use your pick to tighten them. PRS does that on a lot PRS of PRS does so that. Those are a great design. Yes, they are. Yeah. And... You still string through like normal, which I like, and those are not locking. Right. These are kind of your standard so, type of tuners. But they hold tune really well. They do. Yeah, there's no tuning issue with this guitar. I think that is about it. There are probably some other things that maybe you could compare like in like an objective mm -hmm. way like that, but I think that is probably what most people care about. Yeah. So those are the specs objectively. Objectively. Let's talk subjectively. How do they feel similar and how do they feel different? For me, the biggest difference when you play this one versus playing that one is the way the neck feels. And the neck on a guitar is the most, the thing that you interact with the most when you play a guitar. Yeah. That's it. Because so, you lift your right hand up more often. <laughs> yeah. Your I mean, left this, hand is, this well, sits against spreading you. Hand. But yeah. like the neck is, and if you're a guitar player, you, you understand this. These necks feel pretty different to me they do they feel um, different but they're not again they're not worlds apart yeah they're it, yeah. yeah so here's the difference so the I'll width, get to that on my end the width right at the nut and up here at the 12th fret we talked about that they're the, almost exactly the same like it's one thirty second of an inch smaller at the nut here than there this is the same where they're get a ruler and look at <laughs> what a 30 second it's not much is. it's not much. so where the difference comes in is the finish on the back of the neck yep. that is a gloss finish this is a satin finish mm -hmm. uh so that's a different feel and the gloss on a on a core prs is not like a poly gloss finish that you would find 
on a lot of other guitars, it feels really good. Mm -hmm. It's not nitro, but it's closer to the feel of nitro than than a poly finish, in my opinion. Um, so it feels great. It's not sticky. Um, it just feels very high end. Uh, this I like a, a satin finish a lot personally. I think Bradford, you say you like you prefer a gloss finish. Yeah, or if it's roasted maple, it's it roasted. Can, it's different. Roasted maple is its own thing. It's its own thing. Um, so so they're different. The finish is different. Uh, Bradford mentioned earlier the fretboard radius is different. This one is a flatter radius at eight and a half for seven point two five. You feel that when you play them. Um, but the biggest, the other big difference on the neck is that is a chunk of your neck, just straight up. There's more of it in your hand. Which is so weird to me that the radius is smaller when this is chunky. I don't understand. I haven't figured it out on my own. I'd have to see it. And it, you know why it might Maybe be chunkier? Measure, but... Because that's, well, that has a smaller radius. That means it's more rounded. Mm -hmm. So there's more material underneath your hand there. Yeah. Because there's more this way. That might be it, That what I'm feeling. But that feels like there's just more in your hand. This isn't huge. And that isn't small, though. Right. They're both, like, it's kind of like, this is a little more chunky than a typical medium C, and this is maybe a tiny bit less, but you feel the difference. They both feel really comfortable, really great. Yeah. But um, that's the biggest difference when I pick up these two guitars, is that, that neck feel. This still has, like, a level of, this feels a little more polished and a little, just a little more pro, right? It, like, this... Yeah. That doesn't feel not pro. You though. would expect that twenty six hundred dollar guitar, eight hundred fifty dollar guitar. Yeah, there's a huge price difference between. Yeah, these two. it's a third basically. This doesn't feel like the cheap instrument, and this yeah, doesn't yeah. feel like it's the only professional instrument. I guess that's probably the way to. That's a to good way to that. put it. Um, but overall, these guitars aren't like they don't feel like they're different people making them, even though mm -hmm. they technically are. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but they don't feel like they're a different brand, even though you another company is making these yeah. that, that PRS has, you know, licensed out or whatever the ter correct terminology mm -hmm. is. Um, they have the same like DNA. Yeah. Yeah. Underneath. And it's, and even then it's even stronger than that. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just like, could you call these fraternal twins? <laughs> per perhaps. Right. I don't know. I don't know. Cause they're not identical, yeah. but there you go. Yeah. So, um, so otherwise they feel essentially the same. Yeah. There's, there's some like, and they come set up the same with the that's trim, right. which we have tweaked that one. Yeah, I wanted this to float, and so we I'm, floated that. Trim I'm ready to, to deck ready it again. To... All right, so let's see if you and we can detect a difference in how these things sound. Quickly, what we're running through: we are plugged into the Axe FX3. We are using a Fender Bassman amp model, uh, and we're not going to change anything when we do these playing samples back to back. I'm just gonna give one guitar to Bradford and just let him switch. He's gonna play the same exact thing on all five pickup positions. Sure, yes. that sounds we got we got to. And we're clean-ish on four the amp are model for Mayer stuff. Yeah, and so uh, and we're just gonna Nick over is is behind the camera. He's gonna edit this together so that you hear one, then you hear the other. You hear one, then you hear the other, and then uh, we'll talk about what we hear after this. But you can draw your own conclusions. Use headphone, use good headphones or good monitoring to really hear the difference. If between... you bought the headphones at a gas station, <laughs> between the two guitars, if you're just listening on your phone, you're not going to hear the nuances. Well, maybe uh, not. Huh? Well, maybe we'll you will. We'll see. We stand to be corrected. I don't know. If I'm watching a video about comparison, though, I want to make sure I can hear it. So I don't know. That's right. All That's right. just me. Bradford, play uh, something that you can easily recreate 10 times. <laughs>
So for your benefit, you just saw that back to back. So yeah. SE to core, SE to core, SE to core. What we heard was all five, Bradford played all five things on this guitar. Then there was a bit of a pause while we switched. Then he played all five on that guitar. It's, which, which is a testament to how close these two guitars sound. It's hard for us to really hear the difference in that scenario. Heard a difference. But so why don't we, for our own benefit, why don't you, let's do a G suspended to a G. Yes. You play it, and then you give me the, the cable, way. and I'll play it. All right, so we'll do neck and bridge. Okay. Let me have it. Neck first. Here we go. I didn't do suspended. I did the other way around. Boy, they're close. I heard... I, I heard some things too. I did. Go ahead. I read something and somebody said that like... Yeah. Those have more clarity. I, they're brighter. And that's what I was going to say. I feel like the word clarity and bright are not synonyms. One Maybe man's clarity times. is another man's harsh. One man's warm is another man's... Oh, yeah. In the in the initial review man. video, somebody said how they or couldn't woman's. stand the bridge pickup. And then the other comment was, <laughs> man, that bridge pickup sounds awesome. <laughs> yes. So maybe they were just not strap fans. Yeah. I hear a difference. Yes. Okay. What do you hear? I do not hear a third of a price difference. <laughs> well... That's the, the the law of diminishing returns is a thing with guitars. That's valid. And they so. already did all the research with that. Now, granted, I don't know what goes into... We've yeah. switched guitars, by the way. This is In case you couldn't tell, this is not the core. <laughs> oh, wait, I have the core. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Actually, I legit thought I had this Etsy. <laughs> now, that's... <laughs> that's saying something, Oh, too. but here's... You know people are going to think we're lying. No. <laughs> this is genuine. Brian forgot. Because I, mean, I was over there saying different. I prefer that because I'm thinking in my head that sounds warmer and a little sweeter. That is interesting. But I thought that was the SE. Or I thought that was the core. But, okay. I legit fooled myself in our own video. All and right, we, go ahead. And continue. we talked about how different the, ne how different the next feel. Be and one thing was surprising to me is because... This is yeah. this is great because earlier this was not like yesterday when we or not the other day when we filmed the main video for this we we compared them and I kept we kept talking back and forth that the SE is uh is brighter. Yeah. And that's what we heard. The SE is bright. That is brighter. It's just got the it's Or no, just, this one is brighter. Which one is brighter? I thought that was brighter. I'm so you're right. This is brighter. Now I'm confused. All right, go ahead, continue. I just how are they different? They yeah, <laughs> that's it. I mean that this has like this little, like a bit of a brighter, and this has like some other mids kind of thing. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. which is probably part of why it seems like it's maybe warmer, is because those mids yeah. are lower mid. But that's like an EQ thing. Just go yeah. to the amp and adjust. Yeah, that. I will say there's a, there's a there's more clarity with this, and a little bit more. And I think maybe that comes with brighter, but not necessarily like the note separation that you hear. Um, and maybe you can hear, it, it might come through differently with gain, um, as we can turn some gain on. But uh, I was over here legit thinking, I kind of like the way that sounds. And to each their own. I had, maybe because I thought in my own head that that was the core and this, I don't know. That's the thing about, th these things are so, we, our eyes and like what we, our preconceived notions about a guitar can inform how we actually hear it. Um, and so that's an important thing. Yeah. But you heard the differences back to back, so you can draw your own. Sorry, Bradford, I clanged it with my and with it, my ring. It's character. This is Bradford's guitar, uh, and it is a good one. Um, the, so we can answer that question. Is the core still worth 2600 bucks and versus the SE at 850 Yeah. Yes, it's, it is. Is the SE an amazing value at $850 for yeah. what you're getting? Yes. I want to hear a little bit of back and forth because I confused myself so much with that last sample. Uh, let's hear it with a little bit of gain. I'm going to turn on the Timmy. Uh, again, this is all inside the Axe Effects, but it's a Timmy uh, pedal. And I'm going to play like a G to a D to a C. Maybe Bradford, if you, you'll, you'll know how to play this. You're way better than me, so it's, uh, you can do anything I can do. Uh, well, okay. Better. Here we go. Play this and then we'll compare.
Can you handle that, Bradford? I didn't make it too difficult. I will give you. it my best. I, had, I feel like that clarity came through maybe a little more with bigger gain. Yeah, but even yeah. then, I felt like that neck pickup was a little bit warmer than this one. It did, yeah. You're kind of right. But this bridge pickup I, sounded warmer than you, that one. Do you think that these pickups feel like they have a little bit more out, like they were pushing that gain a little harder Maybe than, a little bit, than yeah. those? I mean, that, we didn't measure pickup height. That could come down to pickup height. That. Yeah. We didn't we just, change that, though. And I don't think we've changed it here either. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I don't think we've changed it, period. Um,. So that you know, you can adjust those kind of things with pickup height, but you got to hear what it sounds. You want to do a little bit bigger game? Yes! Bradford's gonna do E to A to B. I think I can handle it. Here we go. Now, now I know Bradford played his favorite version of the E the E chord. Okay, so in this scenario, now I personally am not a huge bridge pickup on a Strat fan. Um, I mean, I love Strats, I, but I, I prefer an HSS myself even. Yeah, I honestly want to say I preferred the way that sounded to this. And it could be Bradford's fingers sound better than mine. That's a thing too. Uh, Bradford's I, I don't just, have any bumps on my pick. Oh, that could also come down so to... So many it. factors. I know. So, But this is an educational video. It's true. It's Presenting... Like, what to, Nick? What did what did you prefer? Nick's behind the camera. You can hear his voice. So what's hilarious to me is I really thought that he had the core. <laughs> he had the core the yeah, whole yeah, time. Well, so I was confused as well because <laughs> they sounded so similar. This is we this do. is really cool. I think the point of this whole video is yeah. just to showcase the differences. How similar they are, and how the differences aren't even like they're not like yeah. they are just different. Like yeah. it's a this is better in a handful of ways that, again, like I said, does not make this worse. It just means that <laughs> one is better than the other. It doesn't make this bad. If, but if one is better than the other, the other is worse than the one that is better. By definition. But. but my defi But the way I'm defining it is saying that something had to be better. Not, right. Not because I think this it, one's worse. This is a $2,600 guitar, and that is an $850 guitar. So. I don't know. If, you're, if you expect to get a better guitar for twenty six hundred dollars versus eight fifty, you will. But I think the point is that is an excellent guitar. Yes. Yeah. You, it's for the money. It is very hard to find a quality guitar, like an amazing quality guitar for under a thousand dollars. And this is that. Yeah. You know, taxes, shipping, what have you. Yeah. Uh you know, you may get closer, obviously, but you are going to be hard pressed, I mm -hmm. think, just overall, when you look at the pricing of this guitar, you know, there's just, it's it's not very often that you get signature guitars that are at reasonable price points. Yeah, that are really good. That are really good. And PRS does it with quite a few, actually. They do. Yeah, so um, in conclusion, let me ask you this question, Bradford. Is there anything, which one am I holding? I'm holding the core. Is there anything on the SE that you would upgrade. We asked this question in the other video, but in case you didn't watch that part, we'll ask it again. Is there anything you would change on the SE, especially in light of being an owner of the core? Mm -hmm. Like, would you upgrade anything to make that guitar, or do you feel like you could upgrade anything on that guitar to make it feel more like this one? I, or I would like to whatever? know how much how much more similar they could be if the necks were more similar. Yeah, you could... I, well, I don't know if the carve is the... Or the, yeah, the pocket is the same. It'd be an interesting experiment to be. take the neck off a core and put it on the SE. We're not going to do Vice it. Vice versa. Yeah, I But know somebody might. But uh, it, this this just doesn't feel like... I mean, part of how you're able to get a lower price is the, the quality of the components. They're cheaper, the cheaper components. Yeah, the way it's finished. The way it's finished. And this is something that comes up in like 
most videos we talk about yeah. guitars. It's, it's you're also paying for the labor, the hands much, that were on the guitar. How much setup is done? Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I don't feel like which is something you can learn to do on your own and do and, and make we have a and make of that. most any guitar at any price point feel like an extremely high end guitar. Yeah. They feel different. Yeah, I I've spent way more time with that, you and have. I, I do prefer it. Um, I do like this neck shape. I wouldn't mind it's this comforting. neck shape with that finish. That'd it is. be cool. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm trying to feel I've been saying throughout these videos that this neck is chunkier than that one. And I'm like, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna ask for you to trade me. Alright. Remember, I have my guitar the core now. <laughs> there okay, so I'm holding the SE guitar, is that right? <laughs> I seem to be confused. So I still feel like there's less wood on the back of this guitar. Do you feel that too? Yes. I just want to. I just want to double understand. check my own work here. I feel like that, but they're certainly both very comfortable. Yeah, I'm gonna plug this in so it doesn't. We don't have. It yeah, I don't think I'd change anything on this guitar. We said it in the in the original video we did. Uh, I'm gonna say it again. I would not change anything on this guitar. I wouldn't swap pickups. I wouldn't put new tuners in. Unless you just like the convenience of this style tuner. They do make, PRS does make a tuner that you can drop into these SE guitars. They have an SE version of that locking tuner. So if you want that, uh, just, it makes string changes faster. But I don't think it's going to hold tune any better if, or worse. If you were a person who You felt are likely a person. Likely is probably about a 99.999% chance. Yeah. Uh, if you were an individual yes. who felt not something I'm capable of reaching for or purchasing, this is. Oh, yeah. And for whatever reason. But yeah, yeah, but you were like, I want to do something to try mm -hmm. to bridge the gap. There is a possibility. It what does happen do? yeah. that people sell these pickups. Oh, you can buy the core pickups? People, I've, I know, I, I've seen them a handful of times. You cannot buy them from PRS. You can't buy them from PRS, okay. So you have to buy them used, and there's probably a premium. And yeah. I would say it's not necessary. Yeah. But, like, that would be something to just kind of yeah. bridge the gap, and that'd be cool. That's just a, for instance. Yeah. Uh, and we'll say, too, Curtis Lamberton is a good friend of ours. You could do that also. And he makes a set of pickups, Lambertone's pickups, called the Triple Shot. And they actually are pretty similar sounding to the to, bridge pickup is those. sweet. It's delicious as well because it's not he shrill. he was chasing a John Mayer ish kind of a thing with those pickups. So maybe maybe down the road one day, let us know in the comments if you want. We can compare. Uh, I don't know if we're actually going to get to keep this guitar, but we could do a comparison: these two guitars and uh, the Squire over there with the uh, with the triple shots. Who knows? We won't have that Squire much longer though. Someone else is going to get that. Uh, anything else in conclusion before we wrap this up? Before we stop this train, Bradford? Ooh. Moving on and getting over. Okay. To end this video. <laughs> Nick, these I are got. John Mayer songs. If Why, you, Georgia? You, that's what I was If you weren't aware. Yeah, well. <laughs> stop this train. Why, Georgia? <laughs> I bet, I'm betting this video is about 30 minutes long, but that's just a shot in the dark. Yeah. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. There it is. Hey, you know, the videos may be long. It shouldn't matter, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Thank you. I'm here for the next 10 seconds. Yeah, I don't know. Subscribe, Subscribe. if you haven't already to watch oh, the tutorials. We've always uh, to do that if you first. want one of these, an SC Silver Sky, you better act fast because I'm going to guess yeah. they're going to be hard to come I know, by. I know. I've seen people while. pre ordered them. They're going to be ago, hugely so. popular. The hype is real. For good reason. They are, they are excellent, especially at the price point. Killer. S style guitar, even if and, you're not a Mayer fan, and just to, somehow made it this far. In the video. And just to say, these are also excellent. Oh and man, worth the money. Yes, I have um, fallen in love with this even a lot more. more money. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.